All right, thanks a lot, Kristen. We start with breaking news out of downtown Albuquerque. This is where Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies are still on the scene of a deputy involved shooting. That's right. This morning, officials tell News 13 it was a series of armed robberies that led to shots being fired and a suspect in the hospital this morning. News 13, Sarah Yingling, live downtown with the very latest on this. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. Well, we are actually in the area of 9th and Park. This is as close as we can get as deputies have this entire area surrounding 8th and Central blocked off. But they say that this is all where it ended when a deputy fired a shot and ending as the suspect was attempting to carjack somebody. Now, Sheriff Manny Gonzalez says this all started around 9 last night with an armed robbery at the Dollar General on Isleta Boulevard. Gonzalez says minutes later, another armed robbery at a nearby Chevron with the suspect matching the same description. The sheriff says the suspect fired one round into the gas station before getting into a black truck and driving away. A pursuit began through the South Valley and into downtown. The sheriff saying deputies tried to stop the chase before it became even more dangerous. At some point, deputies deployed a spike belt, successfully at least deflating one, one tire on the vehicle. Well, they say it all ended at 8th and Central, where the sheriff says the suspect's car crashed into another, injuring the people inside. It's an area where people were out celebrating Halloween. The truck just went 75, didn't even try to break. Slammed into the, slammed into the car. I mean, seconds, seconds earlier, it could have been us that got hit. We were that close. Now the sheriff says two suspects attempted to run, but were caught by deputies. The sheriff says a third suspect attempted to carjack somebody to get away. That's when Gonzalez says at least one deputy fired his gun, hitting the suspect. Now that suspect was taken to the hospital where he is recovering this morning. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Sarah. Right now, it is not known how many shots were fired or how many deputies were involved. As more information becomes available to us, we will alert you first on air, online, and on the KRQB News app.